Hello everybody. Um, I was going to try to post this yesterday, but I failed to. Um, today, what we're starting today, and it's going to run from 8.23 to 8.30. We are running a 50-50 raffle um, over on my Facebook page, the Mr. Mini Dreams page. And we are raffling off this um, Buick Regal um, by Monogram Ravel. Um, it is fully detailed. Um, what we're doing is I'm trying to, I'm doing a 50-50 raffle where half of the funds raised um, off this raffle will go um, to my good friend Richard Sessions from the Nerd Life channel. Um, Richard is a good friend, um, a great teacher, um, and a big inspiration on um, me getting into the hobby of um, doing figures. Um, got to ask a lot of questions. He's usually there to answer my questions. Um, I jump a lot between him and uh, Gilbert from the Red Dragon Model Works um, when it comes for um, questions. Um, here in the last few months, um, Richard and his family have been... Um, they're just barely been getting by. Um, so my my raffle is to help ease some of their stress. Uh, they got three little kids. Um, very energetic family. Uh, Richard battles a disease in his legs, guys. Um, that keeps him from being able to stand uh, and walk very much. If you guys don't know Richard personally, um, I don't want to put a lot of his business out there. Um, but you know, it's, it's hard when you only have one person, um, in the home bringing in an income and you're trying to raise, um, three little girls, um, Richard and his wife, um, they do, um, some Q and A's. They try to stay busy. They try to stay positive. Um, so, what I'm doing is a 50-50 raffle, maybe help ease, you know, offset a bill or two, or let the family get out and have a night of pizza, or or maybe um, Richard can um, pick up um, a new project, you know, just something to ease the stress. Um, he's doing everything he can to get back um, back to work, but, you know, when the doctors have diagnosed you um, and summoned you to... Um, a wheelchair um, because they don't think that um, your symptoms are responding to the treatments. Um, you know, sometimes depression sets in or whatnot. Um, so I'm trying to raise as much as I can um, to help them um, either help with bills or you know how easy it is just to forget about your worries for, you know, even if it was just two hours to get the family together to go to the movie or maybe a day after they go to their church that, you know, they can stop off somewhere and enjoy a lunch without worrying about where it comes from or, you know, um, I've had a lot of people in the community, um, reach out to me, um, through the years, I've been blessed with some great friends um, that have helped me out when I was in time of despair. If you guys don't know, um, I suffer from hydronephrosis of the kidneys. Um, and there was a point in time to where they thought the growth was, um, was non-reversible. And it put me through some things and several guys in, in the community I was um, involved in before uh, doing YouTube, um, they all stepped up and helped me and my wife out um, in a time of need. And this is just something that, you know, um, I really believe in. And um, so what we're doing is we're raffling this off. And like I said, it's a 50-50 pot. Um, half of whatever is raised is going to go um, to Richard and his family, um, and like I said, I told Richard in a message, um, that if we only raise enough to get him, you know, even if we just raise enough and I send him a $50 bill, um, take the family out on a dinner, or, 
you know, buy, buy another kit to keep you busy. Richard does a lot of miniature guys, a lot of Warhammer stuff, a lot of 40k stuff, uh, and some other stuff from um, a few different resin vendors, but it's all along the line of the game thing. Um, and with him being um, confined to a, a wheelchair um, for most of the day because, you know, he'll get up and walk, but the, the disease is just attacking his legs so hard, guys. It, it's a, it, it's a deep struggle. And, um, so usually, you know, if you can't do nothing, you're just going to be sitting around thinking about, you know, your worries and woes. So maybe it, even if we just send them, you know, I'm not begging you guys to put in, I'm asking you guys to help out, um, if it works, it works. If it don't, hey, at least at least for a few hours they can go have a dinner and, or a movie, or you know he can treat himself to another set of um, Warhammer figures, and that way he can, um, um, you know, he eases worries just for a little bit. You know, take a mind off. I know that's one great thing about my hobby is um, I can shut the basement door, guys. And I can take away the stress by coming down here on my bench. Um, since Richard's diagnosis and since um, he slowly started getting worse and worse, um, they've moved all his working equipment out of his hobby room into the front room. Um, his wife is very, very supportive of him. Um, you know, she needs a break too, guys. You know, you know, she she's working her tail off. Um but what I want to do is raffle this off with inside the raffle. My last raffle brought in roughly three hundred and fifty dollars. Um me and Pete over at skilledworld.net, we've already um flipped that money back into other things to go back into the raffle. Um Nothing was taken from that first raffle um, without the intentions of coming back. So what we have for you guys with inside the secret slots. You guys know how I like to, to do the secret slots. Um, we picked up some beads. Uh, some of the detailing beads that I like to use on my weathering. And um, my weathering. <laughs> on my wiring and detailing. Um, some stores are not selling these anymore. And some stores, you know, you can only order them online through eBay. Um, you're looking at like $13 worth of beads here. It is, <laughs> I don't know why, but they are cool. They have helped me detail. Um, there's there's stuff in the Nissan Sunny build I'm building. There's stuff in the, but, you know, they're great little additions to the wire. Um these I went and um because I want Richard to share this with the people um that that um that follows his channel and some of the other gamers out there, you know, I don't reach my outlet don't reach everybody and I want to be able to reach not only my subscribers, I want to be able to reach to Richard subscribers too. So we went and got this Warhammer. It's a metal piece. Um and like it was sixteen ninety nine. Um, we're trying to get back to you guys. It's not about what I can generate, um, to spend on myself. And I've told you guys that from the beginning. Um, I'm doing these raffles, um, to put product on my desk to keep building and, um, stuff to help you guys get, uh, building too. Um, this right here was a little cheap one. Um, you know, I picked it up. It looks cool. Got great detail. It's a Bones figure. And then um, we got a set of Vallejo paints. Um, these are $3 a bottle. So you're looking at like a, a, a $30 set of paints, guys. I just got this tab taped down and folded back up. But within here, you got brass, dark blue, ivory, white, black, um, dark gray, natural gray, and this black this back one here I believe is black gray yeah it's black gray if you guys can see that um, it's a great paint I like using them I know Richard and them are using them to detail their figures um, a lot of the guys are using them here's um, my paint set I really like I really like using them 
Um, so like I said, I wouldn't offer you guys anything that I wouldn't do. Um, and these are part of your secret slots. These are part of the slots that, you know, I have uh, certain numbers. Uh, me and Richard talked on the phone. Um, I had him pick um, four numbers. And within the secret numbers is where the supplies will go. Um, um, what I did this time is they're all still $5 a slot. They're all still $5 a slot. We have um, 102 slots this time, guys. Let's see if you guys can't see that. Um, last time it was said that maybe I had too many slots. Um, so this time we went with 102 slots so far. Um, Robert from the Bustle Knuckle Garage has jumped in um, and bought four spots. And Adam Mosier from Facebook, he has jumped in and bought um, five slots. Um, so what this is going to be, and like I said, this right here is going to be a 50-50 pot. Um, with this right here being a 50-50 pot, half the money raised is going to go um, to Richard's session um, and his family. You guys can follow his channel over at The Nerd Life. Um, great guy, really funny. His wife is really funny. She has her own channel and does her own thing. Um, so... Go over there, check that out. Um, if we can sell all, I haven't put this down here yet, but you guys seen the four, here are the four secret items um, that are hidden within, um, that are hidden within the raffle. Um, John from the Gap Hill Speed Shop, he has also offered up a really nice uh, rally kit. It's a Subaru um, rally car. And it is for the first person um, that will buy 10 slots. Um, we'll get that. Um, the slots are already picked. Um, I can't turn this page because it has all the notes down. I write everything down prior to um, going... Um, going public with this auction that way it can't be said that um i circle jerked somebody into winning a gift you know um well i want to keep this all honest um i even wrote down um that robert wanted random slots adam wanted random slots i wrote down what people are spending what day they did it how many spots they bought um so like um somebody had mentioned um you know, this is I get PMs and messages, guys, um, through Facebook. One one question was asked: Did if um, if Butch if Butch bought so many slots just to give away, um, should we um, do something special for Butch? Um, Butch is a very generous friend of mine. Um, he's a great guy in our community. Um, I'll take care of Butch, guys. That's nothing that you guys need to do. Um, I'll have I have a gift package going to Butch. Butch last last raffle, Butch bought a um, hundred dollars worth of spots. Butch only took um, four spots for himself, five spots for himself, and he donated um, the other fifteen spots, guys. Um, and that that's great. Um, that was that was very good. Um, so this is what I'll take care of books and, and, and I'm going to write down what people are spending this time. Um, that just, nobody was questioning, um, what was going about while well, we know Casey bought some, a few spots. Um, he donated, um, Jason's birthday present and then, um, another slot that Butch had donated to him, um, Casey, um, which is Slowly Models, guys, he's in the chat now, um, he, he paid it forward and let somebody else get that slot too, um, so this time I'm gonna actually write down what everybody is, is, uh, buying and how many spots and then, um, I just want to keep records for myself. Here's what I did last time. Um, last time prior to the giveaway, um, wrote down um, the three gifts from Chip. Uh, <laughs> uh, George did his giveaway, you know, and then we wrote down the little notes. And then this is how I was doing it last time. Um, just who paid, you know, like this. Um, 
just in case like the the numbers we selected for chips giveaway um, was 21 27 7 and 21 and the only one that was picked was by Ryan Camacho um, see no evil build um, so what I was doing if chip wants to pick out of these names of people who paid uh, for one of the gifts or something is is what I did um, so just trying to keep everything on the up and up fellas that's that's all I just want nobody to think um, that there is an advantage either of the way the only advantage that we're taking uh, taking advantage of guys is your guys's generosity to pitch into the raffle um, and like I said um, we got some stuff coming um, from Chip and Lisa for some goodie bags um, we've got some other stuff coming from over Japan um, stuff that we can use um, and like I said, you know, a big, big shout out to um, you guys that help out and you guys that um, take care of each other uh, friend wise and, um, you know, stuff like this. <laughs> Dude, Casey, you got to stop making me laugh. I'm trying to tell you about my my raffle. <laughs> the raffles are five dollars per spot. It, got, it started on 8.23, and it goes to 8.30. Um, you can PayPal Pete Gritty at ScaleWorld.net. And like I said, this right here is I'm calling the Nerd Life 50-50 raffle. Um, and I don't want, I want to stress this, guys. Half of whatever we raise is going to go straight to Richard and his family. Um, the other half we're putting back into the bench um, to the hobby and hopefully stuff for you guys. Um, I w would love to do a 50-50 every six months. Um, I'll pick somebody out of the community or we'll let um, Pete from Scaled World pick someone out of the community. Um, this friend that we picked this time um, is a good friend, um, a great teacher for me, um, super encouraging. Um, so what I, what I picked Richard first, um, I know he... I know he's struggling not only with his um, disease in his legs, but, you know, uh, sometimes um, depression will kick in um, when you're kind of like, you know, you're at a whim. You do everything that you can do, and you're not getting um, the prognosis that you want. Um, so maybe this right here will ease some worries, get the family out of the house for an hour or two. Maybe let Richard get another set of um, figures to paint or something, you know, just to keep himself occupied and, and, and not sitting there just dwelling on um, his situation for a few hours. You know what I mean? Um, so this right here is the 50-50 pop. Um, I plan on doing another one at the first of the year. Um, I am selecting people out of out of my friend my, my friend group because um, a lot of you guys that stay in contact with me, um, it's more than just hey how are you nice build you know. Um, a lot of us talk back and forth. We share ideas. We're not just saying hi and then you know. Um, we, we keep, uh, we keep communication up. We share pictures. We're always doing stuff. It ain't like somebody subscribed to my friend's page and now all of a sudden we're best buddies. Um, there is different strengths of relationships throughout this hobby. Um, so. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, um, I was asking questions over and over, um, and... Just a little backstory. I follow Pete Good uh, Pete Gooding. Um, his he's known as Mini Warzone, and Richard had popped in in the comments um, a time or two, and um, I thought, heck, I'll go over there and sub Richard's channel, kind of like what you guys are doing for each other members in here, and. Um, like you guys do for other members when we're on this page. Um, I got to really uh, liking, um, following Pete over there at Mini Warzone and Richard. And they've led me into watching channels like Frost and Fist. Um, there's all kinds of really neat gaming channels out there. Um, 
we got some great artists, guys, that all they want to do is paint, or they paint to play a game. Um, some great people out there, and, and I ask questions, and um, Richard didn't hesitate to take time out of his day uh, and help me work through some things. Um, and with Gilbert, you know, and with Gilbert's help and stuff like that, I was still able to take my figures and do stuff with it. Like, this is the Brass Bull. Um, Atomic Dog just posted his version of this. And, you know, through talking with Richard and guys like Gil, I was still able to add a chain, add a bull ring in the nose, and I was still able to detail it uh, and make it my own. Um, and with help from guys like Richard and them, um, I want to try to pay it back. Um, I get to talk to Richard. I watch Richard's videos. Um, I'm lucky enough to be able to be able to call Richard and talk to him every um, every time I have a question. And so um, this is my way to pay Richard back for um, his great friendship, um, his great schoolings and teachings. So, um, guys, if you can help, I got some giveaways within here. You know, just some little small stuff. I want to thank John from the Gap Hill Speed Shop. He has stepped up and um, he has stepped up and he's offering, like I said, he's offering a kit um, for the first person that buys 10 spots. Um, so just do what you can. If you guys can't take part, no, no, you know, no hard feelings. I appreciate what you guys um, do in supporting me, um, supporting the hobby. Um, this is just one thing I want to do within the hobby. Um, and again, you guys can PayPal Pete Gritting at ScaledWorld.net. Five dollars a spot. You can buy as many spots as you want. Um, the first person that buys ten spots from Wherever in the board will get um, the kit donated by John uh, from the Gap Hill Speed Shop. If you guys ain't subscribed to the Gap Hill Speed Shop, go subscribe to him. If you're not subscribed to the Nerd Life, go check out Richard's channel. You guys can see the awesome stuff that he does. Um, got great ideas, a, a great painter, funny. Um, he, Him and his wife are hilarious. Um, it's great. Um, the support that she gives Richard and then the support um, that Richard gives back to um, her creativity and the kids' creativity. Um, so just, um, you know, if you guys can do something, then do it. If you can't, no hard feelings. Um, I ain't going to hold nothing against you guys. I just wanted to share with you guys um, and maybe you guys can... Um, you know, help spread the word, um, help raise money for a great man um, and for a great family. Um, so with that being said, guys, um, I'm done for um, this raffle video. And like I said, we're raffling off this car. You'll get this Regal. Um, it will have a case. It will be shipped priority mail unless you're overseas. Um, if you're overseas, like I said, I can't. Um, do the insurance and the priority stuff, but it is fully detailed seat belts photo etched um, flocking in the floors You know oh, um, Monty Davis good question, sir um, it started yesterday, 8.23, and it'll go till next, uh, next Wednesday at 8.23, and we'll do the live raffle on Thursday. And then I'll do the live raffle on Thursday. Um, it seemed to work out better, guys, for you last week. Um, no problem, sir. Um, last time we did it, um, we went until we got, um, a winning number, which was David, um, Goodman. Uh, good one. Um, you know, if that works for you guys, you know, we got we got the input. Do you want to, you know, um, my good friends over at the International Scale Modeler, um, when they have their weekly show, they give away a raffle there. Um, well, they just, they let you pick a number. Um, they use a random number generator for their free gifts. Then they go to the person closest to the number. 
so like the very first number was like a 170 or something like that and there was nobody at 170 um so you know we just kept going until it landed on 110 which was david um so did you guys like that where we go until it lands on a number or would you guys prefer um to round up or, or, you know, round down who's ever closest. I mean, like, so if the number was 67, you know, Ryan C. at 169 would have been closer than David Goodman at 159. You know what I mean? So, you know, do we take the next number closest or do we keep rolling until we land on somebody like we did um, for the first one? Scott says go till it lands. Um, and that's what we did there. Um, if, if we could sell, if we could sell all 102 slots, guys, if we could sell all 102 slots, um, me and, me and Pete over at scaledworld.net, um, may be able, um, to come up with an idea if all 102 sell, um, I haven't, we haven't thought of, of nothing of that yet. Uh, with this being a 50-50 raffle, we already know half the money's going to Richard. And we didn't know how much we'd raise to do anything special um, just yet. Um, but I have purchased these gifts here. They are hidden within here um, with Richard's choice of words. Um, so as you're looking at it now, you know, there's already going to be five winners. Um... The only thing that's not at least five bucks was this figure here. But everything else is is worth the five dollar bid if you win. Um that's what I was trying to do. Um without without going broke, I kind of wanted you guys to have more than just um the chance to win this raffle. I want to be able to throw um some surprise gifts in there. Um we have ordered um, a bunch of stuff from um, Extreme Scale Detail guys. Um, I have I have the baggies in hand. Um, we got goodie bags planned for a few more raffles. You know, to give you guys a benefit of instead of just donating money, I'm trying to get you guys um, multiple winners throughout this. You might not win the big thing, but at least there'd be little gifts within here. You know. Um, I appreciate you guys, and you know I, I know we all struggle. Um, we all have our own um, worries and woes and stress. Good morning, Tony. Yeah, it sounds like that's the way we're going to go, Casey. Um, it sounds like that's the way we're going to go then. Um, but as of right now, Robert went random, and Adam went random. Adam just requested that his random be five consecutive slots. So just to have a little bit of fun, um, I got Robert on all four corners, and then I put Adam straight down the middle. <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks for joining in this morning, Gary. If you guys ain't subscribed to the Car, car Dreams and Styrene yet, um, a great uh, Saturday show, guys. He does most of his shows on Saturday. Um, a great Saturday show. Very informative. Very friendly. And um, Gary G, I, I, I would like to see a whole episode of Bloopers. Um, if you guys don't know, um, Gary's wife is his um, film artist. And she throws in um, a blooper at the end of the show um but i would love to see a full show of it because they both get to laughing and and it's just a, a you could you could tell the love for each other and their laugh so it's a great it's a great ending to his shows so guys i got appointments this morning i'm gonna handle them we'll come back um our tech thursday don't forget when i come back for tech thursday um we're going to have um a coil over um demonstration that was asked um through the community so we're going to do i'm going to show you guys how i would make a shock and the coil over that i would do for that shock you know um and then hopefully with the kids back in school hopefully i can spend an hour or so on the c1 build so today could be very busy for mr many dreams 
over here on the bench. So I hope you guys got time to waste. I know Casey and Jason, it's probably um, getting close to you guys to hit the hay. But um, you guys know I publish everything. And you guys can get back um, ca caught up with it when you guys um, wake up and after you do your your work duties. But thank you guys for those who can take part. Um, and those of you that choose to take part, don't forget, $5 a slot. It runs until next Wednesday. <laughs> and you guys can PayPal your spots at PeteGritty at ScaledWorld.net. Um, and I really do got to appreciate all the help and contributions um, that Pete at Scaled World has been um, for me on my bench and, and the support um, within the raffles, guys. Um, we've, we've got some great ideas coming forward. Um, the next thing we raffle off will, is, you know, will be just a common raffle. I would love to do a 50-50 every six months. Um, to share within the community, you know what I mean. Um, whether you whether it be you guys um, buy supplies, buy a kit, take the family out. It's just um, it's just something that we we um, really enjoy um, the thought of. So um, I plan on at least every six months doing a fifty fifty. Um, unless we have more contributions and more ideas, you know, um, but that's, that's just, um, something that I've had an idea about these raffles for some time. Um, the last, the very first one, um, we donated all the funds to Blair Pletcher's wife, um, with his sudden passing. Um, the last one was, was great. And hopefully this one here for Richard, um, will be just as rewarding um not just for us but um for his family too so you guys have a great day um if you guys can't attend the rest of the week um just watch watch when you can um i'll keep you guys updated on the raffle on facebook um there'll be pictures up you know comments up so um see you guys thank you